There will be unfiltered and uncensored encounters between us and moral and civil society. I trust that by working together with the media, our international development partners, civil society organizations, our traditional and religious leaders, and our labor unions, we shall together reset Ghana and begin to relive the dream of Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And as Nkrumah said, I speak freedom. And taking inspiration from Osajifu this evening, I have spoken governance. Let us reset Ghana for good governance and accountability. And may God bless our dear nation Ghana and make it great and strong. Thank you very much. And may God bless all of us. Thank you. But let me start with the questions about uh, nepotism. Um, nepotism is a situation in which somebody who has the discretion to make appointments makes those appointments from his own ethnic and familial circle. And so the current portrayal of nepotism in our governance is what is famously called family and friends uh, government. And um, I do think that it's something that we must look at. When we have raised issues about family and friends under this current Akufuado administration, the response we are met with is, I mean, is it, is it the president's fault if he has many qualified people in his family? Uh, who doesn't have many qualified people in his family? We all have many qualified people in our family, but it is ethically wrong to fill government with just people who you have a close relationship with. As I said, I mean, I was open to scrutiny when I was president. The only person linked by blood to me in my government was my current spokesman, Joyce Bar Mukhtari. Aside from that, no blood relation of mine was a minister or a DC or any uh, other such position in my government. And so it's something that we would adhere to. We think that the opportunities of this country should be open to everybody. We have 16 regions, and we must um, ensure, and the Constitution even enjoins us, and says that in making public appointments, we shall take cognizance of regional and gender balance. It's right there in our Constitution. And so I do believe that it is the personal testament of the person who leads, you know, that would avoid nepotism. because. The Constitution gives the President those powers to make those appointments. And one would expect that in making those appointments, he will be fair and he will be balanced and he will open the opportunities for people to serve who are not within his immediate uh, family uh, circle. And so that will be my answer to that uh, question. And then. <laughs>